Hello, everybody, and welcome to our last episode of Bite Size English. Oh, don't say this word. Which one? Our last episode. Mm, I'm sorry, Gul, but it is true. Don't be sad. We did a great job. All good things must come to an end. Yes, I know. Chin up. Why don't you tell our viewers what today's program is about? Okay, it's all about learning a foreign language. We'll be looking at some crucial benefits of learning a second language. We'll be also talking about it with our multilingual friends. Okay, ready, steady, go! Researchers at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland studied 853 people who first took an intelligent test in 1947 when they were about 11 years old and retested them again in 2010 when they were in their early 70s. The results show that those who spoke two or more languages had significantly better cognitive abilities compared to what would have been expected from their puzzling. Being bilingual, and especially multilingual, can help make your travels easier. Yeah. In addition, it's no secret that employers see language skills as a benefit for a prospective employee. Learning a new language can literally change the way you see the world. Learning French, for example, which is very nuanced in terms of phonetics, may help you perceive nuances in many different ways. Bilingual people can switch quickly from one task to another. They find it easier to adapt to unexpected circumstances and multitask. Hope it was convincing enough for you to blow the dust off of your language textbooks, learn something new and become a polyglot person that is a person able to speak more than one language. Yes. Let's ask our polyglot or multilingual friends about the way they learn languages. Alright, but before that, I suggest that we talk about some of the greatest polyglots in the human history. Okay, you start. Cleopatra VII, the last ruling pharaoh of ancient Egypt, could speak nine languages. Nikola Tesla, an American inventor of Serbian origin, was capable of speaking eight languages. Serbo Croatian, Czech, English, French, German, Hungarian, Italian, and Latin. Shokan Walihanov, a Kazakh scholar, ethnographer, and historian apart from Kazakh and Russian languages, could also speak German and French. John Tolkien was a polyglot who spoke well over a dozen languages and had some comprehension of up to 40. He even made up a few of his own. And now, listen to some basic tips from our friends who speak more than one language. Hello, Bites English. My name is Timur. And my first tip is conversation, conversation, and wait for it, conversation. An hour of conversation is as good as 10 hours in the classroom. My second tip, well, always carry a pocket dictionary. Mine is always with me. Hi, everybody. My name is Jana. Keep practicing in your heads. I always challenge myself to think in another language until I even start dreaming in it. And here's the important tip. Enjoy the whole process of language learning because you're getting better and it's a lot of fun. Well, this is it. Hope you found this program useful. Hope you did. Hey, chin up. All good things must come to an end. Right. Anyway, let's keep in touch, guys. Write to us with your questions and comments on our Facebook and VK.com pages. We had a really good time here. Thanks for watching us and goodbye.